welcome back now in this video right in the body we will start working and we will create a card the beautiful curve in which first we will show the job title and then further we will work so first let us go and create that below this app bar which we will say we will simply say body and we will have a single child scroll view now writing that you will have a child and right in the child we will have a column widget okay right in there first we will set some property and it's going to be cross axis alignment we're going to set this to start okay cross axis alignment dot start so it's going to be right in the start and then you will say children right in the children you will do some padding as usual in here comma and tag this down so padding as inside we will go with the dot all and we are going to set this to 4.0 and child again now right in here we will have that card as i tell you before so parenthesis right in there we will set the color and the color is going to be colors dot you will go with the black 54 is going to be a little dim in shade so black 54 will be fine and then we will say child scroll it down now let's do some padding for that so in here padding and there as in sag we will go with the dot all we are going to set this to a one and right after child again and then we will say column add in the column widget we will set the cross axis alignment okay we are going to set this to start in here comma now in there children and write in the children do some padding in here comma take this down padding and inside we will go with the dot only and we will set the left just the left to four you guys will see the design whenever we test the app okay it's gonna be right at left side so that's why we give volume four and you can give any value according to your design so in my case i gave four to the left side let's move further child and then have the text widget right in there now we will say and about to show the job title so in here we will say job title and we will say if that equal to no then in if what we will say we will show empty string so there is going to be nothing if the job title will be equal to null it simply means that if there will be no job title then we will show nothing else right in here now we will show the job title we'll check and in here comma now let me explain that one more time in here right in the text widget would we say if the job title equals to no if there will be no job title then we will simply show writing if nothing that's why in here it's an empty string so there will be nothing just an empty string and if the job title not equals to no it simply means that if there will be any kind of job title if it's content then writing else we will show that job title so that's how it will work now now right after word we will give the max lines to three that is fine and now we will say in here star because we will do some star for that so it's going to be a little more beautiful so in here text style as usual now first we will set the color and color is going to be let us go with a white and right after font weight 
we will set so front right we will go with that dot bold also we will set the font size to 30 in here comma now simply add the const modifier so the code will be clean on these yellow lines as you guys can see all just fine so i have explained this in detail now simply what we will do in here we created that uploaded by and job id so we're gonna go towards the job widget okay right in here as you guys can see that r we will just remove that because we're gonna do a little work right in here so in here we will say uploaded by okay in which now we will just assign widget we will say widget and dot uploaded by and also we will say job id and then we will just say widget this is sign dot job id okay now in here we are simply assigning that to this uploaded by and the job id to the job id okay and if you guys just simply put the cursor on this uploaded by and press the control and then simply just left click on the mouse it will get you to the job detail screen because we are passing that to the job detail dot dot as you guys can see in here now we are on the job detail screen in here we are receiving that okay so we will show that right on this screen uploaded by and the job id we will just these both receive right on this screen from here we are passing and in here we are receiving okay so just don't get confused in that whenever the user will tap right in this job okay and you guys can see also in here in the code on tap okay so the user whenever will press on that it will simply push the user to the job detail screen right in here so it's gonna find and get by whom it's uploaded by and the job id according to that you will notice the job title for now i didn't hold to load the app that's why you guys didn't see that okay so let's go back and the r has been gone now we will go towards the job details dot dot and down in here we have successfully created the job title okay as I explained this in detail before now simply we will hold to load the app since we made a major change so let's go and do that so here we go it's loading now I will simply tap on that let's click as you guys can see in here it didn't show the job title I think we made a mistake let me just check the method that we just created is just fine because right in here we get all of the data correctly yep it's just fine and there we go the job title we just get it and assign it to this job title string type variable all is just fine okay we created that method but we didn't call upon that right in the init state now what we will do we will simply copy that name get job data copy it and come right it here above the widget build in here we will say init state and right in there just call upon that okay now just hold reload the app and you guys will notice that it will work just fine now click any of the job right in here and you guys will notice the output it will work just fine just go and click upon that 
there we go as you guys can see right in here applicants for marketing session there's the title okay let me show it to you just remember that okay guys applicants for marketing session go back and there's the job that I click upon it okay before and you guys can see the title right in here applicants for marketing session that's the job title if I click on that in here you guys notice that okay so it's working totally fine because right in here we just show the job title okay so it's working totally fine as you guys can see and one more thing guys about the let me show first in here as you guys can see uploaded by and job ID okay so right in the method of get job data in here it just get that it is uploaded by the Zang okay the current user who is online in my case so it's get that job title from their account and it show it right in here and you guys can see that with your specific job ID so that's the reason that you guys can see right in here that job title because it belong to the Zan Malik ID account okay there is a current user that I am online in my case in your case you guys will notice your account okay you can create a multiple account and and upload new jobs and you will notice it will work just fine now we check that successfully is working fine now I will go with this job first guys just remember that experience trainer for education DAP there's the job title and as you guys know already we just show that right in here okay because it's not equal to no it's content the job title that's why it will show that right in the job detail screen now I will simply click upon that job and you guys will notice that job title there we go okay experience trainer for education done so it's working totally fine and you guys can see that so basically that's it for this video and we will work further right from the next video so see ya